Is cloud computing a sustainable technology? The answer may surprise you. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Hi, welcome back to the show. I'm Dave Lintica, I'm Beatless Geek, tech executive, author, speaker, and here today to talk to you about uh, some of the insider tips around cloud computing. And today we're gonna to discuss sustainability. This is probably the most common question that I get, um, certainly from non-technical people, people who are you know, looking to uh, promote sustainability within their organization or looking for the role that cloud computing can play. And ultimately, I address it in many articles, certainly out on uh, InfoWorld many times, as well as uh, in my book, uh, actually chapter eight, talked about sustainability and cloud computing. So the question I always get is, from people who will say, is cloud computing sustainable? And the answer is normally frustrating to them because it's the normal consultant answer that everybody hates. And it's it depends. It depends on how you use it. It depends on how you're utilizing those resources. It depends on what you're use, utilizing the cloud instead of, um, whether the cloud is leveraging renewables or not. All these sorts of things kind of come into play when answering the question if you're truly leveraging sustainable technology. So. In order to figure out where we are today, let's let's kind of understand the history uh, of uh, of the whole cloud movement over time. And so, and since nineteen uh, sixties through you know say two thousand eight, we saw the growth of non cloud resources, typically data centers. And that's because the cloud, public cloud, at least wasn't around uh, say from nineteen sixty to two thousand eight. And that growth really occurred because businesses were automating systems that were once not automated and they needed places to house the computing system. So therefore they built data centers and those data centers took a lot of power. Uh, and uh, there was probably some sloppy architecture done in actually configuring these systems. So the growth of systems has increased uh, a thousandfold. However, the ability to share those systems was never really on the table. We did have some time sharing that occurred back in the 60s and 70s when computing was very expensive and therefore we shared some of the resources, very much like cloud computing today, but it wasn't truly tenant management. It was just shareable resources that, that someone is able to host for you. But eventually people, companies bought their own private assets, brought their own data centers, things like that. So shareability just went away. In other words, we didn't share anything. The data was the crown jewels of the company. It sat in the data center and that's where it was to stay. And of course, by doing that, we're going to burn more power. We're gonna take more resources, all these sorts of things. In fact, if you go into a typical data center 10 years ago, 20 years ago, they're kind of the same. Even today, uh, the utilization of the resources that are running, in other words, if you put um, a performance monitor on a server instance, for example, it's normally five to 10%. In other words, they're using just a fraction of the power of that particular server, uh, whether it's for storage or compute, even though that server is taking a great deal of power. So that comes down to uh, some better options and moving forward. And so we decided that uh, cloud computing, getting back into a shareable stance, uh, was going to be a, uh, a better idea that we're doing. And uh, in 2010, started steering toward cloud computing as really the next generation of where this computing system was gonna head. Um, there's a couple advantages that go to sustainability with the use and the rise of the public cloud. Number one, we're able to share resources better. It's a multi-tenant environment. We're using virtualized uh, hardware. Uh, therefore, if we're using a multi-tenant system, it's typically gonna be more sustainable than using assets that are in a private data center that we're just powering that are our assets. And as I mentioned, they're typically way under-optimized, where in the cloud, you're gonna get systems that are more, more optimized. Uh, however, when you get into the sharing aspect of it, you have to make sure that you're sharing resources that are also optimized in the cloud. So in many instances, people will allocate cloud resources, uh, cloud servers, storage servers, databases, things like that, and they won't use them. They'll just put their name on them. They'll be up and running, available for their use. And it's analogous to um, turning a server on in a data center and just letting it idle for a few years. Uh, so the utilization of the cloud computing resources, and it's to this day, uh, I see that as a common problem, is very much a problem. In other words, we're not utilizing these resources to the utmost extent, therefore we are uh, sharing resources, which is getting us to a uh, much more sustainable state, good for us. 
but we're not managing these resources in an optimized way, which means the cloud providers are having to spin up more physical servers. Therefore, they take more power. They have more of a carbon footprint, things like that. Also, it largely depends on how that cloud uh, data center is powered. Um, many of them are coal-fired power plants. Uh, so obviously the, the big downsides there, a few of them are renewables and they make a big deal out of that. Uh, some of them are going to be nuclear power, um, which also has a, has a pretty good impact on, on carbon output. It's, it's a fairly clean energy. And we have really no idea, uh, depending on the region we're using, depending on the country that we're in, the point of presence that we're using, things like that, whether or not that cloud data center is using dirty electricity or not. Dirty meaning it's, it's uh, pr producing a lot of carbon. And so it's the it depends answer that gets to be uh, the question that we need to answer. So whether or not your cloud installation, your cloud systems are sustainable or not and lives up to a sustainable standard um, really depends on you looking at your current situation to figure out if you're tracing the utilization of these resources and who's where, the, where these resources are being powered down to uh, you know, something that would be considered clean energy. And in many instances, I see data centers that are um, medium utilized, which is good, but not great. And they're hooked up to renewable systems, but because they built a data center uh, and they also built a renewable uh, energy plant, whether it's wind, solar, uh, something else, and it is having uh, a better sustainability effect. In other words, it's more sustainable. And then I see cloud centers, say medium utilization, same thing, that may be burning uh, coal, which has the opposite effect. And so if you're moving from a data center that uses renewables to a cloud data center uh, via hosted cloud system that uses uh, uh, coal-fired power plants, for example, you're, you're not making things better. Now, you probably are going to move to a more shareable infrastructure. In other words, you're going to leverage the power of these servers in a cloud-based data center in a more, a more optimal way. But the net net result is you're not going to get the sustainable benefit from it. So you get these um, kind of uh, questions that are out there in light of sustainability and people just kind of wanting a binary answer. You know, is moving to cloud sustainable? Is moving to this particular cloud sustainable? And the it depends answer is the way you answer it. It depends on a variety of things. It depends on what workloads are being done, how you're sharing those resources, how you're optimizing those resources in the cloud. Many, as, as I mentioned before, you know, people are getting large cloud bills now because in many cases, they're, op, they're uh, provisioning large amounts of cloud resources and not using them. And again, that's functionally equivalent to buying a piece of hardware and setting it in a data center and plugging it in and not using it. So if that's occurring, then you're not going to have a very good sustainable impact, uh, even though the multi-tenancy is going to be more sustainable than something that's going to exist within a data center where there's no sharing that's, that's involved. Um, the net net me that may, may be that your carbon footprint is actually increasing uh, in moving to the cloud for your particular instance of that. So um, what does this all mean? Am I sustainable or not? I'm going to get a good ESG score, um, all these sorts of things. You got to have an audit done uh, by people who know what they're doing. People who can look at where your stuff is running or uh, are uh, better put where it's going to run in the future so you can make some decisions, some architectural trade-offs in terms of where you're going to run it if sustainability is important to you. Uh, and then figure out what the actual carbon impact is. You'll be surprised that in many instances, the perception that people have in terms of moving to the cloud and their effect on sustainability uh, is going to be uh, way overvalued. And so they're a lot more, they're a lot less sustainable than they think they are. When you look at what they're doing, optimization of the resources, the shareability that's occurring within that particular cloud provider, and also the, uh, the, the type of power that cloud provider is burning, where Putting it on premise may have a more sustainable impact if something is going to be, you obviously can more closely control it and therefore control how that data center is going to be powered. Um, but in many instances, businesses won't pay for that because renewables are very expensive and in some cases unreliable. So we have to you know, think of the trade-offs there. So uh, by the way, I'm not an activist. I'm, I'm not uh, 
politically motivated by any of this. Um, my idea is just take a scientific approach. So I'm reporting what I know within the industry. And that's the way it is. It's going to be a complicated set of questions that you have to have answered. And the answer is not always going to be what you think it is. It's not going to be a binary thing. I think as we move forward in time, the cloud computing providers will get more sustainable. And they're obviously doing press releases about sustainable uh, support of their existing data centers and infrastructures as they move on, solar, wind powered, uh, things like that. Um, so if you're just making a bet in terms of sustainability moving forward, they're probably going to have a more positive effect on sustainability or provide better sustainability as they evolve uh, because they declared they're going to do that. They're going to do that whenever possible. But those are going to be additional costs that are going to be passed to you. Um, running something in a more sustainable manner is going to be more expensive. Uh, therefore, the costs are going to go up, and then typically your cloud bill is going to go up. So the sustainability, whether it's going to occur on premise in your own data center or occur in the cloud, if that's truly your end goal, um, perfectly fine, good for you. Uh, it's just going to result in a higher bill. So uh, hopefully that helped. Um, check out chapter eight of my book. I do write about this, lots of uh, research uh, into where we're going with this technology, uh, how to do your own uh, sustainability audit on your own workloads, how to make core decisions that really go to having a more sustainable technology infrastructure. And I think it's very helpful. It's a common question that I get from reporters, from clients, um, and from other cloud professionals. And it's something that's answered with a complex answer like we've done for the last 15 minutes. So anyway, um, make sure to check out my book, check out my blog, uh, like and subscribe here. And uh, you know, check out my other assets. Also follow me on LinkedIn. I'm happy to have you here and look forward to getting together next time. Cheers.